Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Today's video is about my 2023 make along. <laughs> Unraveling travel with a yarn vacation. Traveling virtually. This should be a lot of fun. So the video is about the, how to enter the terms and conditions and answering the questions I got from my premiere video. So be a lot of reading from my notes so I don't miss anything. But I'm sure if you join us in Unraveling Travel, you'll enjoy your yarn vacation. So, first of all, the Make Along is open worldwide, but you must be over 18 years of age to enter. It starts January the 1st, and it's only going to go for six months this year, and it will close on the 30th of June, 2023. This make along will be conducted through my YouTube channel and you are required to be a subscriber to my channel to participate. I've decided this time rather than just let you make any project, I'm going to give you a list of projects you can choose from to make for the yarn vacation. First of all, a blanket. You can make a blanket or you can make squares that will be joined into a blanket. Now, if you are making a temperature blanket or would like to make one, I did get asked about a temperature chart and I have put a PDF on the Facebook group site. Now, if you don't do social media and you'd like to see the temperature chart in a PDF form, you can email me and I'll send it to you. I'm not sure if I can upload a PDF in this um, the description below this video we will see but it is just a suggestion Reeves came up with and did for me and yeah entirely up to you I've never done a temperature blanket so it may be on my list for this make along lap gans or baby blankets a shawl you can do a shawl a poncho a scarf and for those who love amigurumi a snake so one, two, three, four, five, six projects to pick from. So before the 1st of January, get organized. Pick your project, pick your yarn and be ready to kick it off on the 1st. Now I did do an example of where I live and the first place we travel to will be in the UK. But it won't be a podcaster, it'll be a subscriber. So don't think you'll be able to guess where we're going because you won't. So definitely will be a subscriber, not a podcaster or a content creator. But that's a hint. We'll be leaving my hometown to go to the UK via Broomstick Airways. Now, if you want to start your project early, feel free to use my hometown for inspiration to start your colour work. Entirely up to you. But officially, it starts on the 1st of January. So how will we inspire your project when we fly broomstick airways to the place we visit? Well, for example, there'll be, if there's a state flower, I'll tell you about the state flower, state monuments or historical facts, the temperature range. It's entirely up to you about a temperature blanket, whether you do it when I tell you the temperature when I record the video, or you check it out on Google that day, or you just do something in the range. If it's a birthplace of famous people, food or dish. If we travel to an area or a place that has a renowned dish to do with food, I may supply you with the, a recipe to try and any funny facts I can come up with about that place because it's always good to have a laugh. Terms and conditions. Well, there's quite a few, so they will be listed in the description below, so please read them and make sure you're happy with everything before you join the make along. I don't want any disappointed, upset people along the way. It's all about having some fun. So on the first day and the 15th day of each month, I will announce the place we will take our virtual yarn vacation and tell you about that place. I'll give you a brief overview of the place and other interesting facts about our visit. Complete four rows per place so that's eight rows a month on your project so that's at least two squares for your blanket because you're going to have to make probably 12 inch squares because there will only be 12 places we visit 
if you want to do more rows you can but it's a minimum of four rows per place or eight rows for the month you, each month um, post your pictures and your pro or, or the progress of your picture on so uh, project sorry on social media so we have the Facebook group which you can join it's a private group you can post them there or you can post them on Instagram with the hashtag yarn vacation au don't forget the au it makes it easy for me to find your pictures now if you don't do social media you are welcome to email me your pictures and you can give me permission to put them in the facebook group or if you'd rather not that's fine uh, now as per this year's make long there will be a monthly participant prize draw which will be done on the first of the following month when we kick off a new month and it's a $25 gift voucher now uh, in the northern hemisphere most of, most of them have to be Amazon vouchers however I am not a big Amazon person Amazon Australia is far too expensive for me I probably use Amazon UK more than anything to send stuff to my son. So here goes. If you don't do Amazon and you want a gift voucher for another place that I can access, I'm happy to try and do that. But remember, some countries won't let me buy gift vouchers. For example, we have Spotlight here. There's Spotlight in New Zealand and Spotlight in Singapore. But I cannot buy in New Zealand or Singapore without having a residence in that country go figure I can't work that out the other thing I am prepared to do is I am prepared to put $25 cash in a PayPal account if you would prefer to spend it at a local yarn community at yarn shop and support your local community I have no problem with that it's entirely up to you the $25 is just $25 it is entirely up to me to work out currency exchange. So it's $25 Australian, $25 um, US, $25 Canadian, £25. Do not be concerned as to how much it will be with currency exchange. That is totally my problem. That's what I budgeted for this year and I will budget for next year. It's just $25 in your currency. Oh, what else is there? I've just got to... Now, to pick the participant prize, it will be the same as what I did this year in Rock 2022 AU. All the people who post pictures of their progress and their project, um, or if they send me them by email, their names will go on a random wheel, and we will spin the wheel and pick a winner. No correspondence will be entered into. It just, that's the way I do it. Uh, on occasion I may ask you some things to comment on just to make sure you are actually watching the videos and particip participating fully in the make along you're not just ducking in and out you actually are participating along the way there'll also be some bonus prizes along the way when I find something that I think is interesting um, there might be smaller prizes, but they could be just there for fun to see if anyone actually does them. Now, don't forget, there's also a major prize draw at the end of our make-along. And to be eligible for the major prize draw, I did tell you there's a lot going on. It'll be a mystery prize, mainly because I haven't worked out what I will do. But to be eligible, you must have posted or emailed at least six photos that's one a month only six photos featuring eight rows per month so one picture with eight rows for the month and do six of them same thing the the draw will be done on the random uh, name wheel all those people who are eligible because I keep a spreadsheet for each month and yeah it's all um, above board I can work out even for rock 2022 when I do the draw on the 2nd of January when it closes on the 31st 
of December, I can look at the spreadsheet and see who's done what each month and who is eligible to go into the draw. The winner has seven days to email me at witchpeacecraft. My email will be there to claim the prize. After seven days, the winner forfeits all winnings and another winner will be chosen. All rules will apply. Now, that didn't happen with this year's make -along, but you never know. And yet again, no correspondence will be entered into if you're not happy with the draw. Now, there are some notes and disclaimers that I need to make. I am not responsible for any duties or taxes that may occur after shipment, depending on what it is. Um, if I send you something in the mail, the, um, the fees, the import duties are all your responsibility. So please be aware of that. All comments must be respectful and courteous with no negativity. If you breach this rule and, and we discuss it by email and I'm still not happy that you weren't polite and caring, you will be blocked and you will be blocked from this channel. I don't want any negativity, any rudeness, anything like that. It's all about having fun and enjoying in each other's company on our yarn vacation. Remember, YouTube is not affiliated with my Make Along prize draw. By commenting on the videos, you release YouTube from all I really related to this prize draw. It's not sponsored in any way, not this video, not any of them. I will be paying for all the prizes out of my own pocket. And the opinions I have on anything are my own and aren't influenced by anybody. So there you have it. I've read you all the rules. They will be listed in the description below. But more importantly, make sure you know how to enter and that you're happy with the rules in terms and conditions. I'm hoping we get a lot more than last year. Um, a lot of people can't afford to travel. It's very expensive. Um, not many people in Australia are traveling Christmas time to go home to families because it is way too expensive to fly. And, and the tyranny of distance in Australia can be quite concerning to get to see family. So there you have it. I hope we have a lot of fun. I can't, I've made my decision on one project. I, I usually do two because I find that I need to do two for my make-alongs and yes, I hope you find what you're looking for. Now, if you have a project that you think falls into this category, but it's a little different to what I've said, let me know. Um, if you want to keep it a mystery, that's up to you and post your picture at the end when it's finished. Just remember to, to be eligible for the participant prize draw each month, you need to post a photo of your project and it must be eight rows for the month. Okay, that's I've done this video because I've had a few emails today asking me different things. It's not set in stone that you have to do a temperature blanket and it's not set in stone that you have to use my suggested chart. It was just something I was talking to Reeves about and he helped me put together having, look, having researched temperature charts. And yes, it's a bit tongue in cheek with all the names we put down there to have a bit of a laugh. But yes, it's quite colourful and hopefully if you decide to do a temperature blanket, this is a good guide for you. Um, other projects, the snake would be fun for all those who love to do amigurumis, which I'm really getting into this year. Anyway guys, I hope you join the make along. Remember, hashtag yarnvacationau, don't forget the au, and it kicks off the 1st of January. I'll pre-record a video Prior to that, telling you about the place we first fly to. Remember, the clue is we leave Cairns to go to the UK and it's a subscriber, not a podcaster or a, a content creator. So don't think you'll be able to guess where we're going. It's quite different. Okay, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope I've given you food for thought. Um, it's very dark and wet outside. I had my hair done today, but you can already tell the humidity is making it frizz out. But tonight, I am lucky. Reeves is cooking dinner, and I get the night off to do some crafting. 
Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and let's go on a yarn vacation. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.